Good evening, folks. How are you? Um, today, I want to speak to you about um, the tune, The Language of Jesus' Love, um, the song uh, that was performed primarily by Scott Wesley Brown um, in a duet with um, gospel legend Shirley Caesar. Um, the song itself um, is a heartfelt tune that emphasizes the profound and transformative um, nature of love but as expressed throughout the teachings of Jesus as to what the song um, is speaking for itself. Now the overarching theme of that tune um, is the suggestion that love is the most powerful um, and essential form of, of the three thing of the two things communication, transcending mere phrases. The lyrics seek to articulate the message that regardless of life's trials and tribulations, love is the more common thread of, that binds um, humanity and provides three things. One is healing, the other is hope, and the last one is truth. Now, if um, you listen to the lyrics, uh, particularly in the lines meaning healing and light, mentioning healing and light, the song uses meta metaphorically language uses the metaphoric, metaphorical language to evoke the suggestion that love serves as the remedy um, for both the struggles and the suffering that people experience in real life. Like you're going through a real life crisis, the language of love, the language of Jesus' love, in other words, talks about when you are going through a real life crisis with each other. Could be either a death in the family, could be someone like your father's been suffering from alcoholism, or if you have um, an abusive parent um, who tried uh, to want to be loved with one another when um, he um, does not. Um, and finally, um, what this song's what, what the last part of the crisis uh, is also talking about, um, your parents are going through a divorce after weeks and weeks of um, either not getting along or just um, wanting to go their own separate ways and so forth. Now, the phrases such as each heart has a hunger for kindness and truth suggest a deep yearning for compassion, a feeling that resonates universally. The reference to Jesus portrays him, not just as a religious figure, but as a source of comfort and strength for those navigating life's trials and tribulations. Furthermore, the contrast drawn between the tongue of an angel and speaking with actions of care and speaking highlights that eloquence and wisdom are secondary to the authentic expression of love through uh, deeds. This mirrors biblical scripture, scripture where love, um, it plays a center portrayal to both faith and the community. Above all, the language of Jesus' love encapsulates a simple but powerful principle. Love has the ability to heal and unite. Through each repetition of the central message, the listener is reminded that love is not only the emotion, um, however, when it is also a language that can touch lives and bring people together like you make the connection. The song invites reflection on the importance of inviting love uh, in our interactions with each other, reinforcing that the most impactful communication arises from genuine love and care. Therefore, the song serves as a reminder and an encouragement to lead with love in a world that often feels uh, divided. So um, what you have to understand is, is um, when um, you do not have any um, harmony or love in the family, then um, you are just drifted away. However, with Jesus, um, well, um, he will try to strengthen you, connect with you, and um, he wants to be your savior in many ways that nobody can. If we serve the language, 
of his love, then um, we will have a good emotional bond. And if not, well, that's too bad. Well, thank you very much for watching. And um, you take it easy. And goodbye. And listen to the language of Jesus is love too. Thanks.